Hello there, in this video I am going to show a complete demo of hotel management system module for ultimate POS. So this is a module for ultimate POS that can be used for hotel management, vacation rental management, guest house management, conference hall and booking management as well as different huge cases based on your requirement. So this module provide different functionalities like defining room types, management of rooms, rooms pricing, seamless booking feature, extra functionalities, coupons, detailed report, amenities and a detailed settings which will be useful for management of the bookings. So this is a feature packed module which we newly released now and it has a lot of features which, which can be useful for management of hotels. So let us look into the demo. I will log in with, the, with my super admin credential that is by clicking on this super admin button here. So after logging with the super admin, I will be able to see a HMS module yellow color option here. So after clicking on this HMS module, it will be taking me to the dashboard of HMS module. I will be seeing, seeing a lot of different options that is defining rooms, pricing, bookings, calendar, extra, unavailable, coupon, reports, amenities and settings. So let us first go inside the settings and here I have to add a booking prefix that is the prefix which will be used whenever a booking is done to generate the booking reference number. Then I have to configure the customer notifications that is new booking. Whenever is whenever a new booking is done, the notification will be getting sent to the customer. You have to provide the email subject CC, BCC and you have to provide the email body here. And in the email body, you can as, add some different available text like business name, business logo and all these different text which is present in here. Then you can define the booking PDF. So whenever a booking is done, it will automatically create a PDF which contains a lot of information related to the booking. So in that PDF, you can add some footer note which is like terms and conditions and maybe some different information related to the bookings of your hotel or your property so after you have defined the bookings settings let us go inside the amenities and add some amenities so amenities are like some extra functionalities which is provided inside the hotel like maybe fitness center free parking laundry refrigerator and different different amenities which is present inside the room the customer is booking for so you can add some new amenities by clicking on this add and you can provide the amenity name and description here. So after you have created the amenities, let us go inside the rooms and here inside the rooms you can define different different room types. For example, we have defined two room types here that is deluxe room and single room. So let me go to the add room button here and so after clicking on this, here I have to add the accommodation type maximum number of adults inside this accommodation type, maximum number of children, maximum occupancy, room numbers. So let me add something as maybe suit room here and maximum number of adults are two, maximum children is one, maximum occupancy is three here. Then I have to define different different room numbers which is of this particular room type. So maybe I will add SR1 click on add room and I will add SR2 I will click on add room again I will add SR3 so similarly I can add as many number of rooms which is having this particular accommodation type I have to define the amenities the amenities which will be present inside this room type let me select Wi-Fi, laundry, mini bar, fitness center, free parking, swimming pool and a refrigerator so I am having all the amenities inside this room then I have to add some images and add some description related to this room type. Then you can directly save it or you can save and add the pricing for this room. So let me click on save and add price. So after clicking on save and add price, I can add the price for this room. So I can add different different pricing for different different days or I can keep the pricing as same for every day. So mostly most of the hotels prefer to have different pricing for different different days because weekends are most expensive as compared to the weekdays. So I will add pricing for example 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 dollars per night. 
I can add some extra special pricing based on number of the guest. For example, if the guest is one and number of children is one, what will be the pricing on this particular day? I will add the same price here. I can add if the guest is two and number of children is zero, what will be the, the pricing here? So I can add different combinations here and if any combination is not present then it will take the default pricing for that room or for that particular day. So I will click on the submit here. So after clicking on the submit the pricing will get the price will get updated. So now we are add ready to add our booking here. So let me click on this booking and I will add a booking for a customer. So I will click on add. First, I have to select the name of the customer. Let me select the name as Harry and the status as confirmed. Arrival date is 27th and arrival time is 11 a.m. That is fine. Departure date is 28th or maybe departure date as 29th. So it will calculate number of days the customer number of nights the customer will be staying in our hotel or the number of nights for which the customer will be getting charged. Then I have to add the room. I will add the room as maybe suite room and I will select the maximum number of adults as 2 and number of children as 0. I will select the room type as SR1 and save it. So based on whatever configuration we did inside the pricing, the pricing will reflect here. And I can add multiple rooms here. I can add multiple extra information extras here. For example, if we have options for airport pickup, here we have defined airport pickup as dollar ten per person. So I can add airport pickup. Breakfast is dollar four per person per per day per person. So I will add the breakfast also. And so after doing all these things, it will show the detailed pricing here. The room price is ten dollar. The extra price is $36, total price is $46 and then I can add the payment related to this booking. If the payment is completely done, I will just keep this as same and save this one. <clears throat> so after saving it will show the details here, the stay, customer, status payment status all the details will be getting displayed here in the list of booking if I will click on the view it will show me the details view of this particular booking and I can print the booking details or print the booking PDF and give it to the customer so I can click on this print format one and it will print the booking format for which we can be provided to the customer then let us go inside these extras so extras are like some extra options for example breakfast, airport pickup or maybe some sightseeing options, different different options which you can add and you can add different pricing here. So it's a very good functionality where you can define the pricing per day or maybe per booking or maybe per person or maybe per day per person. So a lot of different options are present to enhance your hotel revenue. So this is how you can define some extras, you can add unavailable, so maybe some rooms are unavailable because of different reasons, so you can define all the unavailables here. So you can select the room which will be unavailable and the room and the start and the end date for which it will be unavailable and the unavailable reason type, why the room will be not available. So if a room, room is marked as unavailable then when we are doing, doing the booking it will so it will not show that options for that particular room so after we have defined the unavailable let us look into the coupons so coupons are like a coupon code which you can provide to the customer and by using that they will be getting discounts for the booking so i will click on add coupon and here I have to select the accommodation type for which, you, which the co coupon will be getting used. I will select this as suite room and I will select the start and the end date for the coupon. I will add a coupon code, discount and if the discount is fixed or percentage. So if I will click on submit the coupon will be getting created. So after this coupon is getting created, we can use this coupon inside the add booking, apply coupon function option here. 
so after we have done we have uh, looked into the coupons let us go inside the reports so I have to select the start and the end date for which the report will be getting displayed so if I will click on generate it will give me details overview of bookings here like whatever the number of bookings done number of one room booking two room booking number of nights so you can analyze different different things like uh, what is the preference of your customer like are they booking for one night two nights or uh, five nights six nights uh, what is the booking preference based on number of guests like how many guests one guest two guests how many guests are at once booking at your hotel also you can get some statistics on like adult guests how many percentage of guests are adult how many percentage of guests are children so a detailed report is present here based on which you can analyze your business and you can expand it based on that so that's all in this hms module for ultimate pos and we will be adding more and more features inside it to make it more robust and more helpful for all our customer and i'm looking forward to having everyone use this module for their hotel and as well as management of different different bookings thank you